Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, we are going through how you can reset slash revive NPCs. And just quickly, before we do get into the video, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So as soon as you start the game, you're going to come up to the first step. For this, you will have needed to take down a few bosses, not any of the main story bosses or anything like that, but you will have needed to make your way up to Caria Manor. And there is a boss in this moon gazing grounds called Loretta. You need to have taken down Loretta in order to do this, at least for the first merchant for this item we're going to need. But at the first step, you're going to see a character over here called White Faced Var or Vare. We'll stick to just calling him Whiteface. He is going to give you a quest that's going to give you the bloody finger. But not only that, you can make your way to Mog and farm runes and all that sort of stuff. He opens up a lot of opportunities. Also, over at the Waypoint Ruin Cellar, there is a vendor there that sells spells and stuff known as Sorcerer Selen. And if you attack her, she's going to disappear. She'll never be there again. So most of the important NPCs, the ones that have like vital quest lines to the story and stuff, you are going to be able to revive them or reset them. When it comes to characters like the knight that's over at Warmaster's Shack, the one that drops the beast champion armor, and later in the game if you don't kill him you can get the bloody wolf armor, you can't revive an NPC like that, because their quest line isn't vital to the story. Sorcerer Selen has a quest line involving one of the main bosses, or one of the non-optional sort of bosses to progress and go to different areas and then whiteface has the quest to obtain the bloody finger for pvp so what you're going to do once you have unlocked everything you're going to need a little amount of runes 5,000 for this merchant and if you just google celestial dew you'll find other places that you can get it some places you can just obtain it without having to pay anything but there are two merchants in the game as far as I am aware, that will sell you this item. One being 5,000 runes, the other being 7,500. But providing you have made your way to Leonia Lake, so you can either do that by going to Stormhill Shack, following this path all the way up. At the end of the bridge, drop down to the left, follow it into the rock formation, round to the left-hand side. There will be a passage in there. You follow that all the way round. You go around the outside of the castle, or if you have defeated Godric and you've made your way out of the castle to Lake Facing Cliffs, then you need to come all the way up here, over on the top left, and you need to access Caria Manor. If you followed my mage builds for the Astrologer, you should have this unlocked. So what I'm going to do is fast travel and show you how to get to this vendor to get this item. So when you are at Caria Manor, if you head out the north side of the manor itself, this is from the moon gazing grounds, so you head into Three Sisters. If you follow this wall all the way south, you've got to be careful here because there's a gigantic dragon in the distance. Somewhere over to my right, I can hear him stomping around. But when you get to this section here, you're going to have a little split. You are going to see this, like, top of this tower. If you drop down onto here, come all the way along and on to this section right here, drop down again, and then once more you want to drop down, then when you get to this rooftop, you're going to see a ladder. You are going to descend down the ladder, and you will, at this point, be just above the site of Grace, that is mana lower level. But this is the only way to get up here. So over here, you'll have this person doing whatever they're doing. They are a vendor. If you talk to them, you can go into their purchase tab. And you are going to have things like an Ash of War. You're going to have a Ripple Blade weapon, a Black Leather Shield. But there you have Celestial Dew. It says, carry out absolution at the Church of Vows. So, what we're going to do from here, after you've purchased that for 5,000 runes, if you make your way to the, like, back down to the lake, but you come to the right-hand side, you'll have the Church of Vows. To access this, you would start from Eastern Leonia Lake Shore, 
follow the path all the way up and round and then just come up and into the church when you get to this church of vows you're going to see like a it looks like a little fountain sort of thing right in front of you when you have a celestial jew i don't have one on me but you're going to tone and it's going to say like right now i don't need absolution but if you have killed any of the really important npcs if you have aggroed them and they won't reset or anything it's going to say would you like to get absolution or whatever it says you select yes you use the item and then when you return to the npcs it's going to have reset them the really important ones to the game will have been revived if you've killed them and if you've just set them off and you've aggroed them because with whiteface and sorcerer well with sorcerer selling she disappears with whiteface every single time you come back to the first step he's going to aggro and he's going to try and mess you up but if you do the absolution at the church of vows after obtaining the celestial dew that's going to reset the npcs so you could be 50 hours into your playthrough you could have annoyed every single npc in the game you come to the church of vows with that item you receive absolution or whatever it is and that resets all the npcs that are important so as i said grab a celestial dew bring it to the church of vows atone at this like little pond thing whatever you want to call it i'm going to say this fountain and once you've done that, it will reset the NPCs. If you want to find more Celestial Jews, because there are multiple in the game, if you Google it, I believe there are some guides on where you can find them. I think there are two merchants you can buy it from, and then there's like three or four different areas that you can obtain it just by going there and picking it up as like a random loot drop. But be careful with this, because buying it off the vendors is expensive. It's a limited resource. And if you mess it up, you can't obtain any more of the Celestial Dew, then you can't reset the NPCs. So your only option is to either start a brand new character or get all the way to the end of the game and do New Game Plus. But that was a look at how you reset slash revive NPCs in Elden Ring. That's going to wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.